keep seeing this commercial. I think it's Burger King. And they're like, oh, here you go. Here's a beef burger. And the guy's like, oh, this was delicious. Thank you. And then Burger King's all like, ah, psych. That's really a, a vegan burger. And then the cowboy guy's all like, what? What? You got me. And I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that, but that is 100% bull crap to me. We conducted an experiment to evaluate how well Whopper fans know their beloved Whopper. Little do they know their Whopper patty was actually made from plants. You're f***ing kidding me. We're not, Grant. Oh, wait, plant, but what are you talking about? So I decided I'm gonna go test this out for myself. I'm gonna head out to Burger King, buy a vegan and buy a regular, blindfold myself, and see if I can taste the difference. Because I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. I also haven't eaten fast food, like probably a year and a half, two years from anywhere fast food. I'm also a little sick, but whatever. It's also kind of worth mentioning that my taste buds, I really feel like they suck. I drink coffee black a lot. I just, I can eat really bitter foods and stuff like that and they taste fine to me is what I'm trying to say. So if I can taste the difference, anyone can taste the difference Trust me. when I say that. All right, let's get going. Yay! Should I be a little nervous that this Burger King has a one and a half star rating on Yelp? That does not sound good. Oh well. Hello, could I get a, a Whopper? Yes please. No, just the Whopper. Yeah, I could also get an Impossible Whopper. I uh, yeah. Why the hell does Burger King put this on their bags? This is just creepy. What are they trying to get out of this? All right, so I got the two burgers. I got them both with cheese. So technically the vegan one isn't even vegan anymore, but I needed them to both have cheese to be equal. I guess I could have gotten both without cheese, but then that would just been kind of gross. I kind of peeked inside the bag, so I know the vegan one is on top. So I'm gonna have to do something about it to reorganize them so I don't know which one I'm biting into. So I got this, this plate, you know, Christmas theme. It's almost Christmas. But anyways, we have our Impossible Whopper and our Whopper with cheese. So they're different colors, you can see obviously, but the wrappers feel the same. So what I'm gonna try and do, I think, is just blindfold myself and then spin this as much as I can. And uh, I'll probably, I'll definitely lose track of them. I'm not trying to know which one is which. Also, I can't find my blindfold. So I'm using a sock today. We'll go ahead and attempt this. One sock is just not big enough. My huge head. All right, there we go. We can't see anything. Now I'm just gonna mix this up. I honestly forgot which one was on which side already. But we're gonna really randomize it. Neither of them on the plate. All right, final big spin. Oh, Can't get the spin at all. I have no idea which burger is which now, for real. Like, you gotta just take my word for it, I don't know. We're gonna start with this one. So I will just give you my thoughts on how it actually tastes as I bite into it. God, how do you even open this thing? First thoughts, I can't really smell. My nose is so stuffed. Listen to this. Uh, so I don't even know what this smells like either. I smell lettuce a little bit. All right, this is a fat burger. Ah, uh, okay, wow. It kind of tasted like a weird meatloaf. 
It went from like a weird meatloaf to a cardboard aftertaste sort of thing. You know, I haven't had fast food in a while, so it could just be a really bad burger. But on my, like my intuition, I'm gonna think this one is the veggie burger or vegan burger. I don't know, I really need to taste the other one to tell, but this tastes like, it's like a mix between meatloaf and cardboard. You know, the sad part is not terrible, but it's not that amazing. Like if I had to rate it, I'd rate it uh, three out of 10. All right, now I have to find the other one. All right, second one. This one doesn't smell like lettuce. It smells kind of gross, actually. Ew. I actually haven't looked at this yet, so I really hope this food is not gross. This place had a one and a half star rating. All right, whatever. We'll try it. I don't know. This one smells bad. Please don't be something nasty. All right, that one tasted like burnt beef. Not much flavor in it, but I definitely think this one is the beef one and the other one is the veggie. But to be 100% honest, this one didn't even taste that good. It just tasted like nasty beef. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I'm wrong and I gotta push around because this one actually tasted like beef and the other one tasted like meatloaf. I'd say this, they're both three out of tens. Actually, I wanna give this one a four out of 10 now because it tasted a little bit better. But I wanna see if I got it right. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I got it wrong and I gotta give props to Burger King for making their burger taste more like beef than their actual beef burger. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Look at that. I knew it guys, I was right. You can't trick these taste buds. The crazy thing is, is I honestly think the veggie one tasted better. This beef just tasted like, tasted like old. Old and kind of burnt. It had this gross kind of taste to it, but I was right. But anyways, the taste test winner would go to the veggie. I'm not gonna lie. This one was better. But anyways, guys, if you made it this far in the video, drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.